Hello and welcome. Today we have a new update for Foundation. We're on Alpha 3 now, and I thought we'd take a look at it. It's a pretty sizable update for for the game. If you missed Foundation before, it's this uh, this medieval city builder kind of uh, kind of banished style where we're going to be ordering our, our our plebs around to get some work done and chop trees and and uh, hopefully build ourselves a a nice little medieval town. So let's jump in here and try this thing out. Lots of new things. We'll, we'll go explore them here as we get in here. My old game is, is no longer good, so we're going to start up a new village here. Uh, we got three different map styles. We have a hill, which we did before. Coastal is a new one, and we have fluvial, which is the very new one. Fluvial, by the way, is a new word that I learned today. And we're going to find out what that word means, because it... Uh, it was new to me, but it basically means we have rivers running through the place. Um, but it's a perfect a perfect way of showing off the new bridges that we can build across the rivers as well. So uh, first off, we're going to pick up some hex hexes here and, and start building is the idea. We'll start off over here, I suppose. we got berries, we got some stone. Yeah, we'll go over here. Okay, so first off, let's throw down the old village center and spawn us some villagers. There they are. Everybody's here, and uh, mohawk and all. All right, all of you guys, I want you to get to work. So, Rose, what do you think about being a builder? Good, because you are Sigismund and Gunther. Let's go build some things. Let's build a gathering hut over here with the uh, berries over there. And we're going to get ourselves a lumber camp. We'll stash it back here in the trees, like that. And we probably need a stonecutter camp. Where's the stones? There they are over there. Is that the only stones I have? Yeah, we'll toss them over this way. Right over there. Okay. Uh, we also need a well, so let's toss the well. I guess it's kind of the center of town over here, so let's take the well over here. Okay. So, you guys get to work. And uh, so, yeah, notice up here, our build menu is different. We have the general tab, which is all the general things. This will expand in time. Uh, we have the monuments tab, which gives us things like the markets and the churches. Speaking of markets, we need one of those, which has changed. We have a food market and we have a goods market, which this is sort of like how the churches build. We can like, they're, um, what's the word? They're like, like section. You can, you can add things to them. You can see those little no knob, knobs we have onto it. So we have a food market, which will go in, we'll say it goes in like right here. And then if we want to, we can like add a good market onto it, like attach it to it. So very interesting. I don't know if we want to do that. Uh, sure, why not? So we'll get a couple markets going in here. So then people can pick the berries and go and, and pick them. Oh, things are done. Uh, so we need to go ahead and have people. Thomas, go pick some berries, buddy. And we're going to have... John's going to go be my lumberjack. And it's like... Curry. Or no, Carl. Carl's going to go work, work on some, some stone. And oh, extraction sites. Right, right, right. So this one, this game has this whole painting tool thing. And the way it works is we don't actually build our people houses, if you remember this from before. Uh, we, we just tell them where they are allowed to build houses, where they're allowed to chop trees, for instance, is what we're doing right now. And so we just mark this all off. So if you guys see trees, and you chop them down, you remove them. That's what we do around here. So all this is fair game. Go ahead and, and take it all out. Uh, the lumberjack can grab all that. The stone cutter can have that. And the berry lady can have that. If they want to build a house, they are free to do so in... This area. I don't tell them to build houses. They go and they, oops, wrong way. They go and they do it all on their own. And they are allowed to do it anywhere in here. This is all house land. Okay. So, now we can continue on. Okay, so we got old, uh, what's your name? Uh, Thomas over here picking some berries. He'll bring some berries back. And we'll eventually get a market going so he can haul those berries into the market to sell those things. There it is. So our market's going to be... Oh, can I not build this other one? Um, we're waiting for wood. Okay, so wood's coming in. Uh, let me get uh, a little more, a more extra wood person. You know what, Hildegard, John, get to work. Get some wood. We need a lot of wood. So, go ahead and keep doing that. Everyone have a job? Yeah, everyone's got a job now. Okay, what are you doing here? Oh, you're the builder. You're just staring at, just staring at the well. It's not done yet. Oh, he needs stone. Well, it's coming in. All right, so uh, let's crank this up. Let these things move on here. We'll get this goods market going, which I don't know what we can sell at the goods market. I don't know if we have anything that we can sell at the goods market just yet, but food's the most important one. We'll sell some berries off to our people so our people can give us some cash that we uh, desperately need to build more things. 
So one of the uh, new things here, we got labor, kingdom, and clergy. We, we kind of saw a bit of that last time, but now it's a little more important because if we get enough splendor, for instance, two splendor here, which we have just done because we built the market, we now have unlocked fisher huts. So we can spend one of our labor to unlock a fisher hut. And that'll allow, well, there we go. We've unlocked a new building just by having that. So that's that's something that's that's new here. Um, I'm going to sell some berries to the villagers, and nobody is free. So who wants to go do that? Uh, Marie? I'll tell you what. Why don't you go be a market lady? Okay. And then we also have... I don't think I have any goods here. So yeah, no goods can be sold just yet. But she'll go work the market here in a minute and uh, sell these uh, these things off. I don't know why that's not filling up. Marie? Here, let's do it this way. There you go. Go do it that way. Okay, there you go. So Maria will come over here, grab some berries, haul them in here, and start selling to the people, and that will that will, will fulfill their their food needs that they have. And uh, this this is fulfilling their their water needs that they may have. Why is there three people standing around here doing nothing? Oh, you're all built. Those are all my builders. Right, right. Um, I want you going back to uh huh, back to wood cutting. We don't need so many builders. Uh, these things popping in here that we see are new houses coming in. People are building houses all on their own. Um, I'm gonna send. I probably need more wood, so I don't think I don't need. I don't need two builders. So uh, Gunther's gonna be the builder man, and Sigismund, who uh, is man as well, is going to go and get me some. Uh, give me some wood. I think it's probably more important. There we go. So uh, excellent. Get to work. So they're building houses on their own. They can use some of the wood that we're bringing in and build some houses for themselves. We're up to 75 happiness, which is all right. And uh, as we get some more splendor, we can spend it. We need three labor to unlock the Lord Manor. Now, we can do that by somewhere in here. You can kind of see, I don't think any of these have it. But in the monuments, like say we build a market, you can see it gives us it gives us an influence in labor. That's what we got our two influence from, was from that. Um, this one will give us an influence, a, a um, what's it called? Splendor with the clergy if we build a church, which will allow us to do things like like giving us new parts for our church. Uh, unlock a, a better church uh, in time. And this one will give us the ability to make keeps and walls, hunter's huts. Um, as we as we build certain buildings, it unlocks new things that way. So houses are coming in. So uh, Ro Rose and, and Sigismund are going to be living in that house. Great. That's just fine. All right, so we're going to need... We got a little bit of wood coming in, but we're probably going to need to get some... A, uh, a sawmill here. Probably our next... Well, let's get a fisher's hut. Do we want that? A little extra food? We are actually out of food. So, John, I know you like wood cutting, but what do you think about foraging? Let's get a fisher's hut set up. Because I want to see this one. I haven't seen this one yet. So let's pop it out. Uh, let's set it down, like, right over... Over here? Is it floating? It's kind of floating. It's not just kind of floating. It, it is floating. It's okay. It's the new Fisher Huts of the future. So as we get some wood, they'll go build it over there. But right now, you guys are using all your materials on building these dang houses. Can I tell you to stop building houses? I can't seem to click the houses. Oh, stop building houses. Oh, well, it's all right. So this one, my wife just set the priority up. Can I click it? There we go. Uh, top priority. Get the thing made. There we go. So any wood that gets made should get hauled over there. We should get new migrants in here pretty soon. Uh, we got pretty good happiness. I think in one day, we have, uh, yeah, in one day we'll have some migrants flowing in here. So let's keep the speed cranked up here and let these folks come in. There we go. Here they come. So here's some new things. We got pop-ups that come along here now, and we'll see where things will come in here. So one of our farmers comes up to you. Sire, you know we work hard, but our savings are low and the winter is hard. We simply cannot afford wool. Would it be possible to support your villagers during the next 15 days? So in 15 days, if I give you guys 20 wool, I will get 10 of these hammers. I don't have any wool, so so peasants, no, get to work is the answer. Tom, get back to work. So, yeah, that's how we treat our peasants. But if we could actually do that, then that would be good for us. But no, it ain't going to happen. We have a fisher's hut now, so someone could come over here and work on this. Um, Actually, I think I'm going to give that to... One of our new guys who should be come walking in here. Where are they at? Hey, new people. They haven't shown up yet. Where's the new people at? Oh, oh, here they are. Here they are. I think I just saw them walk in. Yeah, here they are. Okay, Jane. You get to go be a fisherwoman. 
There you go. You go do that. Um, so that should bring in an additional food source, right? So I'm going to get in the market, I think, for that. To sell the fish. So let's build a market. The food market. I'm going to set it... Should I set it right here? Like all the markets right in the same place? Yeah, that's fine. This will be like market market center. Right there. Sure, build that one up. We don't need any goods for that one. Just just food. We're gonna sell fish at that one because this one can only sell one thing. If I remember, if I if I'm doing this correctly. Correct. Yeah, you sell one or the other. Okay. So there you go. So yeah, there you go. She she has sold. 18 cherries, berries, 18 berries for 90 gold so far this uh, this week. So that's where we're getting our cash from, is from, from her. Uh, I don't have any goods just yet that can be sold. Right? Oh, I, well, clothes, but I can't I can't make clothes yet. So when we get there, we can start selling this stuff. I have an unemployed person. Elizabeth! That is unacceptable. I will need a carpenter in a minute. Go ahead, just be a builder for right now, because I need to get you making me... Let me slow it down real quick. Let's get to moving on to getting a sawmill. And set that one up. Um, let's set it up right over here. Like that. Okay. So that'll give us... It'll turn our, our logs, which we're not making, into planks. A lot of logs being, being used. But we got more people coming in. I did a test game with this one on this map. And I started in one of these middle, middle islands here. And it... It's a bit of a bug because then my villagers wouldn't show up because they were they can't cross the water. We can cross the water in time. We can come over here and we can build a bridge. A wooden bridge, which we can set up. We can start it up right now, I suppose. Wooden bridge. We can go from like here over this way. And uh, let's do it. So we want to go from like this. And then I think like um, like that. Is that what we want? Can I shorten this a little bit? Oh, we don't want it in the water. Maybe like that? That seemed, that seemed like a decent bridge. Seems a little sketchy right over there on this side, but... Let me put one more notch in it. And we'll just do that. Yeah, right there. Okay, perfect. So when we get the cash, which is 80 planks, they'll be able to build a bridge here, and they can haul, haul across here. We can buy more land and make this all like house land over here. And bury land and stone land or whatever else. So we'll set it up. We don't. We can't build it just yet. But when we get the planks, we can. And the um. Uh, well, it's not done yet. But this market is done, which will start selling me some fish. And we should be getting fish in here, right? Right, Jane. Jane, right? Here she comes. So she should haul those over into here, so we can start selling those things, and uh, start making some cash. We need somebody to work this, which is going to be Walter. Walter the fishmonger. Antonia, I need you... I'm going to go ahead and just set you up as a carpenter. Um, because I need you to go work this. Now, let me check this real quick. So, I don't think they... I'm trying to figure out... What... If there is, like... I don't think it's in the game just yet. Or, like, they have, like... They're good at cer certain jobs, you know. I don't think it is. So, we'll uh, just give them whatever job they want to do. Pretty prestige there now. Okay. So we should get some planks here in a minute as soon as this thing ever gets done, which is going to be uh, a little while because we need more wood. Um, I'm thinking... Everyone's in good shape. We don't need two builders, though. So, Elizabeth, I'm taking you off building, and you're going to go into the the woodcutting business. Because we need more logs. All these trees here, we need more logs. Lots of houses popping in here. As we supply them needs, if you remember correctly from last time, these houses will grow into into bigger and better houses. Right now we have a bunch of serfs. So Rosie right now, for instance, is a serf. If we supply her with uh, with better lodging and shirts, then she'll become a, I think it's citizen? I don't, I'm not sure what it is. Whatever the next rank is, uh, which will unlock new buildings. So we have, let me see here, what we do here? Ooh, road signs have been unlocked. Okay. Oh, if we commoners, commoners is the next the next rank. Uh, sheep farms will give us wool, um, which we will need to do. We need more tools. We can start trading for that, and we can do that by building ourselves a uh, where is it? A warehouse, which is probably a pretty important one to have right now. So I'm going to stash it right back here, something like this, right back this way. 
That way all of our supplies can go in there and we can start trading with, with various folks around here. And another reason for winning planks is we can do trading with uh, uh, trading folks out there. There's uh, Davenport here who has an allegiance to the kingdom, which is something we've kind of saw before, but I'm not entirely sure how that plays out with this. Northbury is with, uh, with the clergy. Maybe prices are better. But as soon as we get some planks, we can start trading with Davenport and start making some cash. Start buying some things from them as well. We can buy like uh, tools or something from them and sell them fish or whatever. Uh, where's my resource button? Um, I'm not sure where the resource button is. Resource panel. There it is. That's what we want. So let's let's leave that right there. So three fish, eight berries. Okay, looking all right. We're out of, out of wood still, but I think we're out of. No, we still have no house going in over here. Two new folks are showing up, and they're coming from. Looks like this way. See the path that they're making. How's the stone cutting going over there, uh, Carl? You're only level one. I think you can get higher level, I believe. I'm not entirely sure how you do it. New quest, build a Lord Manor. All right. I don't think I can just yet. I need to unlock more hammers before we can do that. So that's our that's our next goal. Um, sawmill is done, which we need. We have Antonio working on that, so any logs we may get are going to be turned into planks now. Which will get turned into a uh, a, a, mark, a, a warehouse, which we can't make. I can't seem to click it. There it is. Until we get planks in here, so we need some planks. So I guess the new two new people that show up, which I think we got two folks coming in. Here they come. They will be back in the forestry job, I guess. The uh, the wood cutting job, because we need lots and lots of planks. We need it for that bridge. We need it for the warehouse. So yeah, Friedrich, I need some wood, and Jean. How about some wood, please? And you can hear her sawing logs in there. That or she's snoring. Wake up! Get to work! Anything I can sell in here? Planks, maybe? Nope. Just clothes, apparently, there. I'm not totally sure what this means. Um, oh, okay. Okay. I, just re I can redesign it around. Okay. No, no, no. I'm assuming there's more parts to this. Look, the markets will grow in time, I assume, because it seems strange that it has that modular thing to it. If you missed it before, the, one of the cool things about this game is when we start building churches, um, they have like parts to them, sort of like this, so we can build the core part, and then we can add in extra pieces to it, maybe some doors, a tower to it, and, and build it like that. Our Lord Manor works the same way. We sort of build it modularly, where, um, I did not mean that. You go away. Uh, slowly in pieces, and with each piece you build makes it better, and the clergy likes it more, and that kind of a thing. So it's it's a really cool idea where you can start having kind of your own take on various buildings, churches, and 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 your manor around town. It's cool they're adding it into more things. That's that's I think the best part of the game is being able to make your buildings customized a bit more like that. Sort of separates it from from a typical city builder. So planks are in there. Let's uh, let's crank it up and get these slobs to work. Um, I think maybe. We doing all right with happiness. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. Houses are getting built. We got another one coming in here, and we may start moving houses back around this way. Also, I guess we might as well. As soon as we build our town over here, we can get a well in over this way, and then that'll increase the uh, the the uh, the desirability. Wells are what makes it desirable. So we can expand that a bit more once uh, once we uh, get over there. We can start putting houses over here, I guess, if we want to. Maybe some back here. Like that. As they chop those trees down, if they if they chop the trees down, they can pop a house in there. There's your encouragement. Chop faster. Reforestation we cannot do because we don't have forestry. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up. We need a forester's out for that. More villagers. More good. I think I can have another fisherman, which probably be nice to have. We only we have zero fish, so uh, and only four berries. Maybe another forest another uh, forager. Can I have more than two? Yeah. So we'll grab some more, another berry, another another fish person, I guess. We're just using these logs up too fast. So I need uh, I need one of you, and I need one of... Oh, oh, only one there. Okay, uh, other person's going to be a carpenter, or a woodcutter, I guess. I think one of the problems is, I, everyone's building houses, using all my wood up. King is sending his royal envoy. In order to pay for some additional costs at our court, I'm graciously allow you to shower the loyalty to the crown. You may deliver berries. How many berries do you want? Twenty berries in fifteen days, and I get, I get, twenty of. I get ten of those. 
Um, yes, you know what? We will do it. Yeah, we will do it. Everyone, don't eat the berries. Can I tell you to, like, not eat the berries so much? I could, like, tell them to just not eat for a while. Hmm. There's zero berries here, so we gotta pick berries faster. We may not make this one. So we might we might make them angry by not doing this job, but... They're all there, picking them as fast as they can. If I tell them to not have berries over here... Because as soon as they get them, they're hauling them over here. We're selling them, making cash, though. Oh, I'm about to hit the... F no, no, that's not it. I'm about to hit 500. I can actually almost expand my boundaries. Do I want to do that? We can expand down here as soon as I hit the... Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I had to like do it without even thinking because I'm because I had to do it while we had 500 bucks, but we got it now. So now we can expand and, and build another gathering hut over here. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, let's get a gathering hut right over here. Why are you red? Why are you red? Eh? Oh, what am I missing? Missing? Oh, I'm missing money. No, well, it's coming in slowly. Oh, you know what? You know what? That may have been a mistake. Because our budget now is... It went up because we bought this land. It's still going up. It's fine still. But our budget went up because we bought this land. We pay a little bit of money extra for that. Um, I guess we're fine still, though. So let's get another gathering hut in here. Apparently we need a lot more berries. So let's do that. And we'll get another market down there. Maybe we can build an extra set of town things around. I was really wanting to get over here, but... We can move our bridge over this way. Let's do that. Right, no need for it to be on that side. Let's put it over here. I want it to go like like that. Yeah, low bridge. It's uh, it's whoa. Um, that's ten less planks if I do that. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't make sense to have her banging her head on it. I guess. All right, so we'll put that one up there, and then this one maybe will go up to. Like that. that. Yeah, that seems alright. Okay. So, we need a lot of planks for that. We have 23. We're, get, we're getting there. The gathering hut is not being made. I have a builder there, right? Yes. Gunther, what are you doing? Where are you? Oh, you're building that. Okay. Oh, you're building houses. Gunther, you know what, Gunther? There's more important things. There you go. That's the spirit. Okay, so Martin is going to go and be a woodcutter. You got it. And how many woodcutters can I have? Am I not max this out? There used to be a max to this. Oh, wait a minute. I think I may have. Oh, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. I have everyone working on woodcutting, but we don't have one. We can only support three. Okay, okay, okay. We want a woodcutter. We want a lumber camp. Another one. Um, I'm going to throw one in over on this side of town. Like over here. And we'll get some more woodcutters working on that. So, okay, okay. We're sort of wasting people's jobs here because we can only support three. Uh, all right, all right. Failed our quest, which gives us... I think it took a hit. We took minus two to that since we didn't get any berries at these guys. Well, sorry, my liege. I, uh, I uh, apologize. All right. So, we need to get that warehouse done, which it is done. So, now we can start... Uh, oh, you know, we have the planks. Uh, let's assign someone to come work this. Uh, Henry, go work on that. And I'm going to get trading. Let's talk with Davenport here. Davenport. Um, I have... What do I have to sell to you? Nothing. Uh, I have a lot of stone. So let's go sell above. I'm going to keep 20 stone for myself. Anything over that, you can have. I will sell to you. Um, but I do want to... Do I need to buy something from you? Probably not. Let's just do that. And that should start selling. So we can start getting some cash here. So this place needs people. So we're going to get uh, Cooney over there. And uh, that should be good. And this one's ready. So this one needs... It already has the three people working on it. So I, do I have six woodcutters? Six, seven. So Martin, I want you to go do something else. Okay. Yeah, we, I sort of made a mistake there. Woodcutter, woodcutter, woodcutter. Okay. And Catherine, you are free to do something else also. Uh, and that other thing you're going to be doing is gathering, I think. 
do that. And we'll do a third person gathering. Okay. Um, everyone else has a job, correct? That's got a job. You are full. You are doing your sawing. And uh, markets are doing their thing. We can't sell anything just yet. I could, I guess... I could buy... I don't actually need anybody here. Um, I could buy clothing from the village and then sell it here for my people. Would that be profitable? Let me try it. I will trade. Uh, just give me like five clothing. And then we'll try to sell it here and see if we can actually do it. Um, common clothes. Martin will sell them. So we're going to buy them from a neighboring kingdom and then sell it here through to our people. That should actually, if we do it, it'll turn them into commoners rather than just serfs. Commoners make bigger houses. Bigger houses means more cash. So that's that's the idea there. Uh, local bishop is organizing a feast to feed the poor, sick and homeless. Asking you to support the feast with more berries, which you want only 10 berries. You know what? We can do it. We can do it. 10 berries. We got this. We got this. If we must, we are just going to, like, Close the uh, close this place down. You are bringing berries in the warehouse, correct? Yes. Okay. How can I see my where my budget? Trade expense, trade revenue? No, none. Hmm. Two new villagers coming in. We're gonna get these berries up. I'm, te I'm tempted. I'm gonna tempted to just close this place down. We may we may need to do that. Uh, we probably need to put a cut in here though. So um. Thanks again for watching. I may do a little more than this, more of this. Let me know if you want to see more. And uh, we can continue continue more on. I'd like to start seeing some of the new stuff we have up here. Wooden keeps. I think we saw it before. But uh, we know what Lord Manor is, but we have like treasuries, uh, bailiff offices, tax offices. Um, Weaponsmith isn't in the game yet, but wooden keep, hunter's huts, beekeeping. Yeah, those are things I want. We failed. Yeah, yeah, we do a lot of failing, don't we? We're at minus three now. Oh, the clergy hates us. All right. Well, let's uh, let's call it a day here, anyways. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.